in this video we are going to discuss about the coronavirus infection coronavirus disease which is the covid 19 this is one of the viral infection and in fact about this viral infection who was informed about this viral infection on the last day of december 2019 that there is a outbreak of the viral problem in the wuhan of the china and after <coughs> the outbreak of this disease in the wuhan till today this disease has been able to infect 800000 people and has been killed 38000 people worldwide and this disease has infected more than 200 countries throughout the world none of the countries has been left from this infection <clears throat> so coming to the uh, actual structure and what are the reasons for this uh, very uh, contagious infections about the coronavirus uh, so uh, this is the structure of uh, actually coronavirus and here we are having the single stranded rna as a genetic material and here this single stranded rna as a positive strand means it's a sense strand sense strand means it can uh, be considered as a genetic material as well as it can directly be translated into the protein very quickly so <clears throat> that is the benefit of the sense uh, positive strands that it can very quickly replicate into the host system and it can very quickly increase the number and that is the actual region uh, uh, for the spread of this disease that is why this disease is spreading so uh, fast into the people uh, spreading uh, uh, among the people from the people to people <coughs> and if we see uh, this disease uh, virus then here we are having the nucleocapsid protein uh, like this is the uh, nucleocapsid protein and this is the membrane protein and <coughs> This is the spikes protein. Actually, these spikes proteins are very important when we are talking about the coronavirus because these spikes proteins are responsible for the interactions with the human cells. And after the interactions, these spikes proteins are helping into the entry process into the cells. And then uh, very quickly, it will help uh, to enter into the human cells and then after it can replicate with the help of the uh, host proteins and then it can spread throughout the body. Another thing which I would like to discuss here that why this coronavirus infection is increasing so rapidly. Okay, and uh, even we may have seen some examples that people are gathering at a place and uh, from one person even this coronavirus is capable to infect more than 100 people in a uh, very short time of the gathering even. <clears throat> so reason is that when a positive person means the coronavirus positive infected person will be having the very good viral load so as we know that this virus can spread from the person to person okay and when a positive person is having the good viral load then it can very easily spread the people those who are coming in the contact okay and another person healthy person who is coming in the contact he may show the symptoms even after the two days, uh, starting from the two days up to the 14 days. Therefore, you may have seen that people are given the advisory that you may uh, uh, keep yourself uh, in a quarantine stage for the 1 to 14 days so that this disease can appear if that's, that person has got the infection. Otherwise, it can be cleared out. And <clears throat> In most of the uh, cases, like uh, as we are seeing that uh, the symptoms associated with this coronavirus infection is increasing like as a uh, cough, fever and in the severe cases, people are getting the respiratory tract infections. The uh, lungs and respiratory tracts are attacked by this virus and the high viral load uh, is actually damaging the our respiratory system and later on it is also damaging to the liver kidney and other parts of the body and ultimately it is leading to the uh, sepsis means the multi-organ failure which is causing the death <coughs> throughout the world it has been noticed that uh, three percent or more than three percent people are dying and if we see this uh, burden 
or mortality rate then this mortality rate is actually uh, very high in the case of the European continent people in the case of the American continent people and if we see the trend of the disease burden as well as the mortality then slightly it is different in the Indian continent of course Indian peoples are uh, having different type of the civilization different type of the habitat that is why uh, they are somehow able to protect themselves but in the Indian trend what what my research says that <coughs> that peoples like in the European and American continent people uh, more than 60 years of, of the age are getting more affected they are getting the more infection they are more prone to infection but in the Indian continent in the India it has been seen that people uh, from the 20 to 35 years of the age are even getting more infected and the trend of the mortality in the Indian continent shows that the uh, this age of the peoples are even more susceptible for the death <coughs> now coming to the uh, uh, strains which are circulating throughout the world associated with the coronavirus so we know that coronavirus belongs to the coronaviridae family and till today till the 30, 31st March 2020 about eight strains have been reported from the different different places and this disease I would like to say here is a very infectious very menacious and right now we don't have any treatment we don't have any prevention like as a vaccine so that is why most of the government most of the countries are taking these steps to lock down their country why we need to lock down our country because it's a very very big steps they uh, our uh, country's uh, economy is going to be compromised most of the peoples are badly affected by this lockdown but even though we have only this solution because this disease is a very infectious disease it can spread very quickly which we cannot even imagine that where this hidden virus is available and that is why this is the only uh, approach by which we can at least stop or we can break the chain of the viral infection that is why most of the countries are following the lockdown and we should also as a citizen we should uh, respect the uh, decision taken by the different government and we should keep ourselves in the quarantine stages now coming to the uh, treatment and prevention that what are the treatments available for the coronavirus infection what are the prevention strategies available through which we can fight with this coronavirus infections so coming to the treatment point as this virus is a very new virus we don't have right now any medicine which is licensed by any governmental agencies any countries uh, which can be used for the treatment of the coronavirus infections but since this is a RNA virus and we have uh, many other RNA virus uh, which have been adopted into the human body and they are actually uh, killing many peoples affecting to the many peoples for the example such HIV which is uh, affecting around 38 million people and I should say here 38 million people are living with the HIV viral infections throughout the world so the disease which are associated with the RNA virus that drug can be given in fact in the some of the hospitals of the some of the countries some of the physicians are using the anti HIV drug for the treatment of the uh, coronavirus infection but this is again not the licensed drug for the treatment of the uh, coronavirus infections so right now in this stage where we are we don't have any treatment strategy we are dependent upon the supportive treatment strategy we are giving sometimes different antibiotics sometimes other medicines are given so these are the supportive strategy these are not the fixed strategy to kill the virus uh, to kill this viral attack another thing what we can do like how the uh, therapy can be developed by uh, for the coronavirus infection so present time the solution which we have right now that is the uh, only drug repurposing 
by doing the drug repurposing like the drug repurposing means reusing in the different different models so here we can take the lessons from the other viral infections like as hiv hepatitis like hepatitis c hepatitis e and same medicines can be implemented can be used can be tested in the coronavirus infections and uh, uh, for this strategy what we can actually do like uh, uh, till today uh, many researchers working throughout the world uh, i should say thanks to the many researchers working throughout the world because they are working very vigorously they are doing different type of the experiments assays and uh, they have uh, isolated crystallized the protein structures and they have deposited in the uh, protein data bank and right now uh, many protein crystal structures are available for the coronavirus so against this protein crystal structures the uh, where we are having the sequences this uh, proteins like as the uh, rna dependent rna polymerase and uh, endonuclease exonuclease helicase for this kind of the proteins actually we can design different different inhibitors or the inhibitors available for this type of the protein can also be tested in the in vitro model so that we can develop some uh, therapeutics and then after it can be tested in the animal model as well as in the uh, uh, human model also uh, some clinical trials can be conducted and in fact in the US and in the European countries some of the clinical trials have been started uh, uh, to develop the drug. Now coming to the uh, vaccine, that uh, uh, what are the preventive measures which we are having? So uh, presently we don't have any vaccines by which we can prevent the coronavirus infections. But many people are working in these directions. So uh, uh, for the viral infections like RNA virus, like uh, polio is a very good example. Uh, and uh, uh, right now we are in the stage of the elimination in many countries have been freed uh, free from the uh, polio uh, infections because we have developed the attenuated form of the virus uh, which is associated with the polio and this polio uh, uh, vaccine can be given to the people so in this by following the same strategy there is a very good possibility that we can think about the development of the coronavirus vaccine another strategy uh, which uh, i think can work that uh, that is uh, uh, to see uh, by seeing the present scenario uh, what i can predict that see if we see the trend that this disease is spreading very fast and european whole european countries even america which is the superpower uh, these countries are badly affected by this disease. Even uh, uh, today, whole world is under the lockdown stage. So in this stage, what can be done? Many people are trying to develop different vaccines. But uh, to develop the vaccines, to develop the successful vaccine, it will take time. It will take at least one year to develop a successful vaccine. But till that time, this virus is going to be very menaceous. It can... Uh, be uh, very uh, dangerous so till that time uh, I think there will be a fight between the human immunity and the virus means the uh, human immunity human immune system uh, for the examples we are having the innate immune system we are having the adaptive immune system innate immune system means the cells which we are carrying which we are having already so that cells are fighting with the virus so that is called as the innate immune response another thing is the adaptive immune response which we are developing after the time uh, and for the development of the adaptive immune, re immune response it will take a week it may take uh, two weeks even so in the case of the coronavirus when we are getting the very high uh, viral doses infection dose infection dose is the dose which is required to infect one healthy person so if we are getting very huge amount of the virus at a time, then we cannot protect ourselves. There is no any chance that our uh, innate immune response or adaptive immune response is going to work. But uh, seeing the trend of these viral infections throughout the world, what I can say, 
ultimately uh, like uh, uh, after the six month or after the uh, after the year there will be some mutation in the virus and uh, slowly and slowly our body will adapt for this virus our body will develop the adaptation for this virus and ultimately we will move towards the herd immunity in the meantime there is a possibility that some company can develop the drug some company can develop the vaccine but there will be a uh, interaction there will be a uh, fight between the human humanity and this virus and uh, with the help and support of the scientific uh, community we may develop some drug we may develop some vaccines and there is a very high chance that we can also develop the community based uh, immunity which is called as the herd immunity that are the options uh, available uh, by which we can fight with this menaceous virus which is the uh, COVID-19. Thank you.